Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. Today we're going to be solving Counting Sundays. You are given the following information, but you may prefer to do some research for yourself. January 1st, 1900 was a Monday. 30 days have September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31. Saving February alone, which has 28 rain or shine. And on leap years, 29. A leap year occurs on any year, even divisible by 4, but not on a century unless it's divisible by 400. How many Sundays fell on the first of the month during the 20th century? 1901, January 1st to December 31st, 2000. So you can decide to either use the Java built in uh, calendar library or the date library. Or you can go ahead and create a custom enum class to solve this problem and then you can calculate for the change in the date for February and then calculate the leap years as well. So what I decided to do was to be lazy and just use the dates API to solve the problem. So let's go ahead and see the solution for that. So I'm going to go ahead here and create a class and I'm going to call it uh, Counting Sundays. So this is probably the shortest program I've written for Euler. So what we need to do is we need to create a static method and this is going to be an int and I'm going to call this get Sundays. And this is going to take in a local date start and a local date and So what we're going to do is create a variable to hold the days. So I'm just going to just call these days. I'm going to equal to oh, not days, but let's call this Sundays. I'm going to equal to zero. So we're going to say while the start dot compared to the end is less than equal to zero. We're gonna say that if the start dot get the dates of the week, right? Dot compared to day of the week dot Sunday, if that is uh, equal equal to zero, then what I want to do is say that the Sundays plus plus. Then what I want to do is we want to actually increment the start by one month. So we're going to say start is going to equal to start dot plus months, and then we're going to add one. So we're going to increment by one month, and that's pretty much it for the while loop. Next, we're going to return the Sundays. So now all we're going to do is create main here. So just public static void main string arcs so create some local dates so we'll do date uh, start here I'm gonna equal to local date off and I want to do uh, 1901 and then we need the actual month which is January and the day which is the first and then we need the end date so we can say local date and is going to equal to local date dot off and then the year is going to be 2000 and the month is going to be the 31st I mean the 12th and the day is going to be the 31st so what we can do next is just do the Printing out, we need to kind of put this right here. So we're going to do SRT here, and then we're going to do uh, get Sundays. We're going to pass in the start date, and we're going to pass in the end date. And then we can go ahead here and just print this out, and this should give us the amount of Sundays from the two dates. So this will be it for this tutorial. It was pretty short doing it this way. If you did it the other way, it requires more code. And it requires you to either create a custom enum class or you can just go ahead there and create maybe a switch statement and work things out. 
but this is the solution for it if you like this tutorial give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a good night bye bye